How's it going, everyone? Yes. Welcome to Spurverse, the show where we talk about everything that's got us absolutely excited to be Spurs fans. As you can see, I'm joined by Craig Vi. Yes. Team oh, yeah. Craig, we we're back, hashtag. baby. Yeah, we're back, yeah, we're back. You know, bring no, it. We go through spells of not seeing each other, that's but then it. we come back yeah. and we come back better each and every time. But anyway, enough of us. The key points we're going to be talking about today is Spurs' performance versus Juventus. Yep. Obviously, we played them over in Melbourne. Uh, the key performers in that game, Poch turning down the AFA job. <laughs> well, uh, Torres back in Spurs to win the title in the future. That's interesting. Yeah, NG, low move to Marseille. Is it on? Is it off? Has he had that medical? Has he not? And uh, finally, Harry Kane expecting his first child. Congrats. But um, yeah, we're going to kick it off with the performance versus Juventus. Quickly, I mean, what was your thoughts on it? I don't know, really. It's a, uh, yeah, it's one of those, isn't it? It's one of those kind of funny games where you're sort of watching it thinking, OK, we're playing Juve in like a, a you know, a big pre-season tournament. And you, yeah. you get quite excited about it. And all oh, some of the youngsters are going to play and um, some of the new signings are going to play as well. And then you kind of watch it and everyone's playing it about 50% pace-wise and yeah. not wanting to get injured, which is fair enough and understandable in its early days. And um, I don't know, it was just, we played players out of position. Oh, it was weird. That some of the youngsters looked a bit nervy and didn't do themselves any favours. Yeah, all right, very nervy. And uh, I don't know, and then we kind of picked it up in the second half and it mm. was a bit better, really. And I think I've sussed it. Go on. I think I've sussed it. I mean, it had all the ingredients for a catastrophe, really. It wasn't a catastrophe 2-1 by any means, but it had the ingredients. I mean, the other side of the world in Australia, yeah. travelling the furthest out of any Premier League team, mm. playing at a cricket ground. Yeah. Like, everything about it was flipping weird. Mason was captain. Yeah. Really and What's truly, it should have been 5-0. <laughs> when you think about it. It did look like it was going to go that way as the well. The poor old 24-hour trip, however long it took, made Ericsson ill. Yeah. Lem Sip on the bench. Vim has got a bruised face. Did all of this. I mean, why are we travelling so far to play in this competition? I don't know. I don't know. It's all about just, money, I, isn't it? I, yeah, but it's just like, what? No other team is travelling this no. far. I just don't get it. Well, neither do I. I don't know what to say about it, really. I mean, like, it just it happens now, isn't it? It's just a given. Well, like, every pre-season, what's it going to be? Australia, China, I mean, America, last year we played South Africa. quite near Munich. Yeah. But we played, we had that little tournament. A week before the season started. I know, I know. That, that was, was madness. Ridiculous. That was madness. And I thought this year, you know what? They're going to be sensible about it. No, let's go Australia. Yeah. Let's go far. Let's go play with the kangaroos. Yeah. Let's go down under. What's that about? I, just, I don't even know. And then these kids come out, obviously never travelled this far before. <laughs> it's all new to them. It's yeah. a completely foreign land. Yeah. Playing with the first teamers for the first time. Not used to the first heat. First senior game. Mate. This, that's what it is. I and playing it. Juve as well. I mean, what was Juve. they thinking? Exactly. What? Mate, I, I don't even... Who was the key performers, though? Uh, Wanyama. Yeah. Definitely. Um, let's, take out the, let's take out the first team proving it. Let's, let's talk All about right. the academy players. Okay. Who impressed? Uh, Marcus Edwards. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, again, really... Like, just looked really good on the ball. Did. You said, like, glides. Glides. Glides, glides. around the pitch. Yeah, he's like silky. He is silky. Ooh. I like that word. Yeah. Silky, like this. Yeah, just silky. like this. Mm. Um, I don't know who else. Who else? Um, Harrison. Yeah, Sharon Harrison looked all right. Harry Winks looked all right. Yeah. Uh, Anton Walks looked all right. All right. Yeah. It, uh, Cameron Carvick is mm, no. ball terrible. Ball had a bad ball. Ball had a shot. He was not on yeah. the ball. You know. For, oh, There's always a pun in there. Oh, yeah. There's always a pun bring, in there, mate. Bring it back. Bring it yeah, back. Yeah. I just. I just. I don't know, man. I wasn't impressed, really. If I'm honest. I wasn't out and impressed by any of the youngsters. I don't think anyone put in a performance where I could be like, yep, yeah, this is great. Yeah. I mean, Marcus Edwards looked all right. Didn't have a lot of time, though. No, no one's going to get a lot of time in a game no. like this. In, and he's, he, he, Marcus Edwards, throughout this season, will grow into it yeah. as well. He, he just he, he needs to get more game time under his belt. He needs to be in and mixing it with the first yeah. team as much more. And he's going to get that opportunity. He is going to get that we're, we're We're moving into the time of Marcus Edwards. Ooh, I like that. And the time of Cornetto hairstyles, apparently. Yeah, Seems Cornetto. to be a theme. Seems to be a theme throughout what the team. What is that? Yeah. Honor, all of them. They're going for it. They're I going, might, should I go for it? I think you should. Yeah. I might go for it. And get and get the, uh, the yellow jersey as You well. know what? No, I'm not gonna. I was gonna say something and put myself in hot water. I'm not doing that. But what I will say is, we've got Atleti next. What's yeah. your thoughts? Should we beat them? Can we pull it back? Uh, well, I don't know. No, I'm worried. Actually. They're gonna I'm play youngsters worried. as well. Really? Yeah. Are our youngsters better than their youngsters? That now that that's a big that's a big ask. I mean, I don't. I, to be honest, I don't know much about their academy, but they're gonna have a lot of probably cultured ballers in there. They're gonna I have a lot so. of Marcus Edwards in are. there, really. Aren't yeah. They? I mean, I know that La Liga is above us in terms of the number of minutes played by teenagers. Wow. In the first team, so. 
you're going to be thinking that they're probably going to be quality yeah. players, I think. Let us know in the comments below. If you know anything about Atletico Madrid's academy, if you yeah. know anything, let us know who should we be looking out for. All right, Poch. Yes. So there was interest from the Argentinian FA. Who cares? They said, look, we're eyeing Poch. And uh, who else was it? Simeone? Simeone. Simeone. There was a couple of others in there. And Poch said, you know what? It's just not that time. No. 44 years of age. He's got the world at his feet with Spurs, new stadium coming, Marcus Edwards, all of these young, this is a young talent. We've got, we've got a massive kit deal coming. We're playing in the Champions League at Wembley. Mate, who wants that job? They got it's a mess over there. Argentina have got an aging team anyway. Messi's off. He's off. Well, why does he want to go to go and be the manager yeah. of Argentina now? Yeah. Why does he want to go and be a dictator, forcing these extremely exactly. good ballers to come yeah. play Political. in friendlies? When they don't need to, just for a bit of wedge. No. We're on to you, no. the AFA. Yeah. All right, and Back I can off. say this. Back off! Because I'm probably never going to go Argentina. <laughs> Argentina where they'll probably murder me or something. <laughs> so, you know, he doesn't need to go there. But you know what, all jokes aside, he's got a long time. He's only 44 years of age. He could, he's, he could take that down the line. He's got years, yeah. He's yeah. got years. And look, he's, he's, he's growing something at Tottenham. Oh, he is. You know, and, and we're just going to keep building on it and building yeah, on it. Yeah, and, and he's on like 5.5 million a year from Levy. That's a lot of money. Big Don't money. get greedy, okay, Poch? Yeah. You've got a lot of money right now. Just enjoy it. Take us where you need to take us. And then in the future, you can flirt with the idea of a kind of managing your home nation. That's fine, that's fine. And I'm quite pleased that they want him. Of course they want him. Who, who, who wouldn't who want him? Doesn't want who doesn't want Who wouldn't want him? Real Madrid want him. Yeah. Even teams that have nothing to do with football. The flipping LA Lakers want him. He'd probably manage them to greatness as well. And all you NFL teams, but you can't have him. No. All right? He's ours. He's ours. He's ours. Hands off. Father figure. But yeah, we're happy with that. Uh, Torres. One mm. Fernando Torres. Now, I kind of hadn't forgiven him since he scratched the other face. Yeah, by gouger. Yeah, when he played for Chelsea. This chair is doing all kinds of bits <laughs> right now. It is squeaking <laughs> so much. Anyway, shot. I'm not going to shout my crotch this time. Um, yeah, so Fernando Torres. Yeah. He was eye gauging on all that, or gouging, should I say? Eye gauging. Yeah, our guy. Eye gauge your eye. And uh, he's gone over to Atletico Madrid. Yeah. Bam. And he's, he's saying good things ahead of the, the game we got against them. He said Spurs, good team, looked very good. He's impressed with Pochettino. Yeah. And he said that even though we just missed out on it and we came really close, he thinks in the future they can do it. Well, of course we can. I mean, we can, we did come really close this season. Of course we can, and we probably will. So wow. he's just stating the obvious. And that's, that's all he's doing, what? isn't it? I don't know. I don't even want to hear from Torres. Seriously? No, yeah. I don't. I even don't. if it's good stuff. No, like that. he's a dirty little eye gouger. Yeah, he is. And you can do one, Torres. You wow. can do one. And I tell wow. you what, he probably said it because he's scared. I reckon CCV was like going to bash him up or something. Do you think he's going to play in this tournament? Spain went out pretty early. Did he even go with Spain to the Euros? No, he didn't. Did he? No, he didn't go. He, didn't he got it. left back he home. You're, you're yeah. the, you know what? Your opinion yeah. is just invalid. It is invalid. It's invalid, mate. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice bit of, you know, we, 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 we like the compliments, but we won't take them from you. How yeah. about that? Yeah, how about that? Anyway, on to some real, you know, things that we actually care about. NG. Yeah. Clinton NG. So obviously last season he was injured, <sighs> played with injury, didn't see much of him. Now apparently he's being swapped, a loan move to Marseille in exchange for uh, and and Kudu. Yeah. I mean, what's going on with that? Do you know? Does anyone seem to know? Apparently he's had a medical. Some people say he hasn't had a medical. Well, I, I, heard, I heard he'd had a medical, but now apparently he hasn't. And Poch came out, was it just this morning or, or, or like Saying he goes day? nowhere. Saying, yeah, that he's in his plans and that he's just, he's got a slight injury and that's but, why he's been left back. But can he be on loan and still be in his plans, future plans? Well, of course, he can still be in the club's future plans, but I, I don't see it myself. It's I mean, all too ambiguous for me, Craig. Look, there is too much talk. When, it, when there's too much heat about something, it's going to happen. Yeah. And, and I, I think it's a done deal, basically. I mean, the president of Lyon, was, where, where we signed him from, was talking about it, yeah. saying that it was basically a done deal, that he's practically already at Marseille. And this... this... Why is he chipping in with his two pence? Well, because he likes the player, I think. From what, from what I can, from what I, you know, I mean, they, pro they, they probably, probably wanted him back. Determined. Well, yeah, yeah, they do, they do. But, you know, they they, they probably wanted him back. And they're not yeah. going to get him back. He's going to go to Marseille and we're going to get Nkudu in, in, in return. So you're saying it's pretty much a I think it's deal. a done deal, yeah. I just, I, you know. Upset about that? You're, you're upset to see Clean Energy not get a second crack at the whip over no, here? No, I, I want... I, He's got potential, right? He yeah. has got potential. He's got pace. He's got a trick in him. He's got very big eyes. Yeah, he's got really big eyes, yeah. Um, and uh, Not sure I, how relevant I wanted is. to see him get given a chance. And I would I, I would have liked to have seen both of them at the club. Yeah. You know, one of the things that I think we lacked from last season was, was any true pace 
on and the wings in the yeah, wide positions. Yeah, we don't positions. have any real any kind wingers. Of flare players. We don't have no real, real no, wingers. No. And now what we're doing is we're exchanging one promising French youngster for another. And it's, it's a bit it's of odd. a weird one. It is a bit of a weird one. But, you know, I can only go on. I haven't seen a lot of this in Kudu. I've seen the YouTube videos. Oh, he looks good on the old he YouTube. Does. But then, like well, you were saying, most people step do. overs. Yeah. Yeah, it's easy to edit your best bits, exactly. isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, yeah you want to see my best bits. If you not... took my best bits from this, it would be... It'd be pretty lengthy. Yeah. Put it that way. It would be one of the longest 30 second videos I've ever seen. Anyway, on to our last point. And Harry Kane. Woo! Harry Kane. A bit, of nice, a bit of nice news here. Daddy He's expecting his first child. He is. Posted a picture with his two dogs saying that we're expecting a human in the family. That's right. Which is yeah. weird because there's already two humans in that family. Yeah. Expecting a new one. Oh, that makes sense. Yes. Uh, is call he it. Boy or girl? Boy or girl? Call it. What do you reckon? Boy. Of Boy, course, and he's going to yeah. be a young Harry. Yeah, he's going to be called Harry. Harry, Harry the second. Kane, Harry the second. Yeah, and he's uh, going to be signed by Spurs straight away. That kid will. That, it will just be literally the moment that child comes out of the womb. Signed. Yeah, signed. And then he'll be, you know, score it, getting golden boot, uh, the year two thousand and forty-seven. Yeah, that's it. Amazing. Yeah, I think it's going to happen. He's a year though, right now. Straight, he's a brand new like that. Come on, Spurs. We're happy. We've just signed another year though, and he doesn't even know it yet <laughs> until it turns out um, it's a girl, Harriet, and then. Oh, Harriet Kane. Harriet Kane. I don't yeah. know. Let us know in the comments below <laughs> what you think it's going to be. Are you mystic? Can you predict it? Uh, let us know what you thought of the Juve performance. Who are your key performers? Poch turning down the AFA job. Are you happy about that? I expect they would be unless you're one of those Arsenal fans that continuously exactly. troll our comment section. Yeah. Uh, Torres, do you care that he's complimented us and thinks that we're going to win the title? And NG. Do you know what's going on? Have you got the sources? Do you work for Heinz? Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the video, drop it a like. If you're new to this channel, subscribe and keep it casual. It's the match review and uh, we've lost, unfortunately, mm. to Juventus 2-1. We played them in Melbourne, part of this. What is the name of the cup? 